Thank you. Wow. You know, <clears throat> when I was a little girl, um, I didn't know anything about energy and how you could feel movement and, you know, before I knew about science and, and, and waves, I didn't know, but I just knew that there were certain things that you did that made you feel good, certain people you were around who made you feel good, certain people that you were around who usurped your energy. And then as I got older, I learned about how people to people, you actually do feel energy. One thing that I love about this festival, you bring such good energy with you. And tonight, I feel it so much. Thank you. And I remember one year, Roger came, and he had just gotten out of the hospital. He had been out for, for a little while, but he was, the doctor was afraid um, to, you know, to have people you know, hug him or shake his hands too much or do anything. And Roger just said, forget that, you know, forget that. And he was, you people were stopping back, he was signing books, he was walking, he was filling your energy, and there was a um, sort of a post-surgical scar that he had, and I'm not kidding, it actually healed that weekend. It was something they tried to get to heal for a long, it healed, and then I started reading about sort of spontaneous healing that your body does when sometimes all these endorphins just flood in, and where I'm going with this is, I wasn't feeling that great because of my allergies, but God, the energy, I feel great right now. <laughs> and I know it's your energy. So, thank you. I was on a panel earlier today and I could barely speak. I had to keep <clears throat> doing all of that, and right now, I don't feel any of it. You know, I feel like Superwoman, Wonder Woman. So, um, there are, this is a really special evening and we, and following a really special afternoon that we had and Godfrey Cheshire, thanks you so much. We loved his film. And I was sitting, when I was sitting back there, I was wondering if I should say that thing about, you know, because I tell you, the issue of race is still so fraught in America, it's fraught for, for me, it's fraught for a lot of people because I love all people and I try to be diplomatic about it and yet at the same time, you actually cannot start healing or solving a problem if you don't actually sort of face it head on. Sometimes it's painful and you can't just hide from it. And, and his, his, his movie started doing that for me and then talking to him and the time I spent with him in Los Cabos and the way that he looks at things and the way that he, you know, filmed his family, it, it really was. And it freed me, it freed me in a way that, that, like I said, that I didn't even know I needed to be freed because I love, I love people, I love all people, but there are still some things that I remember from my childhood, there are still some things that I see, you know, inequality in the world and there are still some things, and like I said, I, I, I marched in the civil rights movement, I did so many things, and yet, you know, just like Malcolm X after he went to Mecca and he started this evolution of thinking, not separatism, not, you know, but like there's a, a, a core that we have where we all meet. And what I tell you with Roger, I actually saw, I saw his, his soul and his light. And when we met, it really wasn't about race or anything. It was just about, I saw what a generous, beautiful, soul he had, and he said the same thing about me, and that's where we met. And today, when I see people, I see more, I see their soul. And I know when I'm with people who make me feel good, and I re refuse to spend my time with, uh, much time, unless I really, really have to, with people who don't make me feel good. So, um, one of the things that I like when I come here the News Gazette has such great coverage of the festival. And Melissa Murley, yeah. So, 
Day to day, if you see the, the, the vending machines, I wish we could just have the papers here that we could buy here. Maybe the News Gazette, if they're listening, maybe they'll make some papers available here. So sometimes people want to buy the papers and take them home. But I read about this woman. She uh, highlighted a woman named Audrey Wells, who, and where is she? Where is Audrey? who comes here from California, takes time off from work. I think she's a nurse or she was a teacher. I don't remember all the facts of the story. All I know is, Audrey, I would like to give you either a Life Itself DVD or a Life Itself book. So, going to give that to you. And I already uh, talked to the Webbers and gave them some marriage counseling <laughs> and a DVD, and so, Thank you and, and, and congratulations on your 11th anniversary. Uh, Nate told me to remind you that we are going to, we also have academic panels. Some of you know, in addition to the film, this is like a production of the College of Media at the University of Illinois. So we also have academic panels. And tomorrow morning, we've been having them, uh, we have them today. And tomorrow morning at nine o'clock in Pine Lounge over at the Union, we are going to have um, the nine o'clock panel is the filmmakers. All of the filmmakers at the, uh, at the festival will be on a panel with Nate Cohen moderating. And then at 10.15, we're gonna have the critics panel. And as many of our critics as we could fit on that stage, we're gonna have. Um, so that's at nine o'clock and 10.15. The last thing is I saw the cutest little thing out at the concession stand and I said, I just have to tell you about it. It's a thumbs up cookie. <laughs> and not only is it cute, it actually is very good. So they don't have a lot of them. So, you know, I just want to let you know. Uh, and I hope th whoever makes the thumbs up cookies, please bring more tomorrow because I think people are going to be out there looking for them. Now let's get down to our, the reason we're all here. Um, this evening, we are welcoming back a guest, a director who was here two years ago uh, with The Spectacular Now, a movie that Roger loved so much. And I'm going to tell you a little bit of his filmography, but before that, I want to tell you a little bit about his soul. One of the reasons we liked welcoming him back is because he is so generous with his time. When he was here before and when he's here now, he stops and talks to people. He always has the biggest smile and he's so enthusiastic when he talks. He seems like he loves his actors in his movie. And he, Nate Cohen knew him in Athens, Georgia and Nate said, that's just the way he is. So. James Ponsold is a filmmaker originally from Athens, Georgia. His films, which include The Spectacular Now, Smashed, and Off the Black, have won prizes at Sundance, been nominated for Independent Spirit Awards, and honored by the National Board of Review. He co-wrote the graphic novel, Refresh, Refresh, selected by Alison Bechtel for the Best American Comics, 2011, and directed the upcoming feature, well, not upcoming, the feature that he's here for tonight, the end of the tour. Will you please help me welcome James Ponsold? Thank you. Thank you. Jazz is a really hard act to follow. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here tonight. Um, it, it's such an honor. I'd like to thank everybody at Ebert Fest, all of the, uh, the programmers, the staff, um, and especially the volunteers who are everywhere. Please give them a hand. It's so great being back in this theater. It's one of my favorite theaters anywhere, and there's so many people. Um, Roger Ebert was a, uh, a hometown boy, a local guy, made good, and, um, and one of the characters in our film, David Foster Wallace, was that as well. He went to, uh, he grew up here, he's Urbana High School class of 1980, so it feels especially appropriate to have this film play here, and he saw a lot of movies in his adolescence in this very theater, 
And, um, you know, and Roger Ebert, for me, um, you know, I was a child of the 80s and, and grew up watching him on TV and later reading his reviews. And I feel like I learned how to think about films and engage with films and how to be a passionate advocate for films, how to argue with my friends about films by, um, by, by reading his reviews. And, and having him uh, review a couple of my films was really a dream come true. And it's just such an incredible honor um, to be back at this festival. And I look forward to sharing this movie with you. I hope you like it. And um, I'll be back at the end to uh, talk to you about it. And I'll have a uh, special guest from the film with me. So I uh, hope you like it and see you in a little bit. Thanks.